Um, this is my energy. Let's kind of readjust to it real quick. Uh, this kind of weird, weird little boy with a gross voice. <laughs> uh, I, uh, how is it? Is everyone good? Everyone good? Cool. Not, not like, are you doing good, but like, are you good people? Like, are you like an ethically sound bunch of people? Because, yeah, because I don't like performing for, you know, like rude dudes and stuff. So if you're all bad folks, I just, I kind of walk. It's just not for me. You, right there, real quick, quick, quick ethics test for you. Don't worry about it. Really easy, yes or no question. Would you do something for a fleeting moment of meaningless joy if it would knowingly make everything significantly worse for everyone around you? Would you do it? No, okay, good person, good answer, good person, so far. <laughs> Follow-up question, <laughs> have you done karaoke? <laughs> okay, bad person, <laughs> bad, bad person. <laughs> I'm out of here, <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> you guys are that thing where there's like a really, like a really big guy, it's like a real big guy and everyone calls him Tiny <laughs> as a nickname because you know, he's like a really big guy and it's like funny if you call him Tiny because it's like, like he's clearly not Tiny. <laughs> like in no way in this world is this guy Tiny. So it's like ironic if we call him Tiny as his nickname because he's definitely, he's definitely not Tiny <laughs> at all, there's no possible way he's tiny. You look at him and you're like, no way is that guy tiny, so I'm gonna call him tiny because it's gonna be funny to call him tiny because there is no possible way in my imagination that this guy is tiny. You know that? <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that's why people call me Little Bitch Virgin, <laughs> you know? Because they look at me, and they're like, okay, two things I know about this guy. He fights, and he fucks. <laughs> it's true, I do it all. <laughs> Despite being a Fuck master. <laughs> I don't have any kids. But I am, I am kind of at that age where I need to start like thinking about if I want to have kids or not, you know? 16. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Got to figure it out before it all dries up. <laughs> Once I'm 18, I'm like, chewed up gum. <laughs> Get me out of here. But so I've been thinking about it. You know, I've thought about what I would name a kid if I had a kid. And I gave it some serious thought, and I thought, you know, if I were to, if I were to have a son, I'm very close to my family, so I'd want to honor my family with my son's name. So for his first name, I think I'd name him after my dad, and then his middle name, I'd name after my grandfather, and then of course my last name. So he'd be Daddy Grandpa Fernald, <laughs> and I think it's just, I think it's a good name for a boy. Good strong name for a boy. It's stressful to have kids. There's just a lot, there's a lot to think about when you have kids that you don't normally have to think of. Like I was, I was driving through this neighborhood, kind of like a family neighborhood, and there was a sign in someone's yard, and it said, drive like your family lived here. So I told my mistress to hide, and I sped up. I <laughs> just got out of there. I'm definitely like, I'm definitely not ready to have kids because there's just, there's a lot of simple tasks I can't handle. Like the other day, I went to do laundry. Should be an easy, no fuss task. I did a load of whites, put it in. When it's done, I take them out. They're all pink. Everything in there turned pink. Just because I'm an idiot, I didn't even realize when I threw it in the machine that my cat was in there and then just. <laughs> 
Threw in the whole load. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I killed an imaginary cat. <laughs> that, that joke, it's very sad. But he was, he was racist, so. So it's okay. It's all right. I think I'm, a, I'm addicted to my phone. I am big time addicted to my phone. I cannot go more than five minutes without taking out my phone, texting my Coke dealer like, give me more Coke. <laughs> it's like, so addicted to my phone. <laughs> really, just can't stop using my phone. <laughs> you know, I'm always asked that question. If I could be a fly on the wall in any one room, what room it would be? Has anyone ever thought about that? <laughs> anyone thought about it? If you could be a fly on the wall, what, what room would you be a fly on the wall in? Anyone, just give me a room. Hitler's bunker, okay, yeah. That's actually incorrect. That's an incorrect answer. <laughs> Any, anything. Oval Office, okay, oh wow, two people, same time. Both of you, completely wrong. No, nope, wrong. There's only one correct answer to this question, and I know it. If I could be a fly on the wall in any one room, obviously, whatever room has the hottest, sluttiest flies in it, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm a freaking fly, all right? I don't care what these humans are talking about. I got like two days to live. I want to get my fly dick wet, okay? That's what I'm doing. Give me them loose flies, baby. I just want you all to appreciate my commitment to comedy by shouting out, give me them loose flies, baby. Because this is being recorded tonight. <laughs> it's going to be on the internet. You know, it's Comedy Central, so it's going to have like pretty good search engine optimization. So if, if I ever decide to pivot careers and someone types my name on the internet, one of the first things that's going to come up is me in a video going, give me them hot, wet flies, baby, or whatever it was I said before. So I'm, I'm in this for life. <laughs> I'm in it for life. I, uh, I wanted to talk about this. When I was a kid, my mom's favorite band was the Bear Naked Ladies. She loved them. It was her favorite band. And when we got the internet in my household, I got a great idea. I was going to do an internet search for Bear Naked Ladies. And I knew what I was getting into. I knew what I was going to find. But I knew that if I got caught, I had the perfect alibi. I could be like, what? I was just Googling mom's favorite band for her, see when they were, see when they were strolling through town next, and I didn't know that was gonna come up. Just, you know, not, not my problem, not my fault. <laughs> and it was great, it was great, because as a, as a teen boy, I could look at pornography on the internet stress-free, and it was just the greatest gift that I could ever be given as a child. <laughs> but I was thinking that today's young, horny teens, <laughs> are, you know, the bare naked ladies aren't as popular with today's young moms as they were with my mom. So they don't have the luxury that I had. They're just looking up porn and they're nervous the whole time they're gonna get caught. So that is why, as a gift to teens everywhere, I have started a new band. We're called the Dick Sucking Teen Sluts. <laughs> <laughs> and... We make music your mom can groove to so hard. <laughs> we sound like Maroon 5, but all of our songs are about how cool moms are. <laughs> and like our album is called like, I think a woman hits sexual prime at age 50. And <laughs> it's just really, really great. And this is real, so you can Google this. And that will be a result in the Google search. And you can download the song called, I think moms are cool. And if you get caught, you just play that song for your mom, and you're fresh out of jail. So you're welcome to anyone watching this. Go out there and find it. 